Hi, I'm John Schweitzer, and I want to talk a little bit about file names, one of the biggest challenges in moving documents to the cloud. It's here, online, that a bad file name can wreak havoc. Now, in the old days, when most documents were shared via email, file names were less important, since the email usually described the attached file. You simply read the email, opened the file, read it, and perhaps printed it. But modern business teams are moving documents online to internal websites, where there is no email describing the attachments. This is a good thing, but it means file names must make sense. They must be descriptive and easy to read so that someone who opens the file will understand what the document is before they take the time to open it. And give essential information at a glance, like the version date of the document, the subject, the type of document, like a speech or a release or internal questions and answers. Now, why is this important? How you organize and name your files will have a big impact on your ability and others' abilities to find those files later and understand what they contain. I edit, rename, and publish thousands of files each year. And one of my favorite examples of a bad file name is one I've received a number of times. Final.doc. Now, at one level, it's the height of arrogance to do this. But of course, no one did it on purpose. The person or the people who've done this are just working too fast. They're not giving thought to the fact that others will ultimately find this file online and have absolutely no idea what the file is. Dates also need to be consistent. A good format begins with date designations of a four character year and two character month and day. This format ensures that files stay in a chronological order in a library organized by, by chronology, for instance. Now, the International Organization of Standardization, or ISO, understood this problem and introduced ISO 8601 to avoid date confusions. And essentially, 8601 says that date orders should be organized by the largest date to the smallest, so year, month, day. So these simple processes and rules are things that can help you make your team more effective. I've got lots more simple, effective ways to help you save money and manage big teams as well. Please connect with me if you'd like to have a conversation about the ways I can help you and your team. Thanks.